SGC here, and we are back for comics time. Special, special, this is a free comic book day review. Bear with me, there's a lot, and we're gonna fly through them. Not too in depth. But anyway, first up, Dragon Ball Super. We got story by the original guy that created it, Akira Toriyama, and Toyo Toro. I don't think he originally drew this stuff, but it was interesting. I mean, I've seen the two movies that are canon, which introduces the, the gods and super characters, and it's all right. And definitely, I, I dig the whole large format. Compare this to like a normal sort of like tr like a trade for a manga. Manga are like this size, so they're a lot smaller. So let me here. This, this is how much smaller they are usually. So reading it with this size has been great. And also we got the Naruto, Baruto story, which I read online already, so what, whatever. And overall, I mean, it's kind of nice to have like kids to be like, hey, Dragon Ball is still cool, guys, because it is. So check it out, type of thing. Next up, Colorful Monsters. Got a lot of things happening. I definitely just picked it up for like Moomin Brigades and Kitaro and the Great Tanyuki War. But overall, there's a lot of decent stuff in here. But, uh, Kentaro. Kitaro. Okay, hands down, this has to be my favorite free comic book. I hate Image, and it's I Hate Fairyland, but with Scotty Young. And there's just a whole issue where our main character, main heroine, just kills all these people in the Image universe. And it's just great fun to see how things are interpreted. And then this crazy sequence at the end was all just as fun. I think this is hands down my favorite free comic book day comic ever. So, moving on. We got Tex Patagonia. Really loved the art here and just the story of just fitting in and from tribes and all that stuff. Dug the comic, dug the art line. Really, really enjoyed it. Catalyst Prime, it was all right. I mean, the narrative jumped back and forth. I would say it's kind of interesting to introduce all these characters and then have them go through things and then the beginning. So I got to read the first issue to care, but I don't. Next up, we got Riverdale, and then we got a lot of intro to like the TV series. I mean, as the first thing to read, it's kind of like all right, I guess, but it's a lot more teenager than I thought. I guess I just never read the, the small size stuff to realize it's not really for kids, but you know, me and being ignorant. Walking Dead 163, kind of nice for them to like have this 25 cent comic out for free comic book day and hopefully get you in. I mean, it was that issue where a lot of people died and stuff. 2000 AD with a lot of people. I dug it. Interesting. Sort of Judge Death and then Judge Dread and then Anderson. A lot of good stuff. Love the art. Love the sort of like uh, just the difference in terms of artists' sort of contribution. So yeah. Grim Fairy Tales. Didn't really care for it. Yeah. I mean, I flipped through it. I was just not engaged. And artwork's inconsistent. Colors is kind of nice to be so different in colors, I guess. But nothing to write home about. Lady Mechanica. Also just dark and gloomy and all that. Nothing much from the series that I read before. Way too much talking and just not engaging. Next up, Secret Empire. It did make me want to read the whole Secret Empire thing. And it's it's interesting. I mean, with, uh, what's this say? Sor Sorrentino's art from Old Man Logan. I mean, this page is awesome. I mean, I like the art. I mean, there are people that don't really like it. Uh, we got also a Spider-Man thing, that's kind of nice, but overall, I don't know. Zelda Twilight Princess, this is like a, a book of like a lot of Himikawa's art of the Zelda stories, different eras as well. So there's like the Twilight Princess first part, and then we also end up with, uh, with Orkanina of Time, that stuff. Buffy the High School Years, don't know why I got this, but it was in a free sort of swag bag and it, it was really boring. Bongo Comics Free For All. It was actually fun. I liked the storylines I went through. Who <laughs> loved this part. And just like the story about wheelies or whatever was great. And then everything was just fun. This 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 was fun. I think so. Out of the three, out of the like, I think I got like 13 issues. So I got some from 8th Dimension and then went to Central S S Comics. And I got like 13 probably. Less than 15. And I picked up three and they were great. So that's it. I uh, hope you like what you got this year. Hope your comic store sort of like brought some new stuff for you to look at and gander. And yeah, hopefully another great year. And can't wait to see the next year's sort of new free comics. So that's it. That's it for this week's pile. Hope you, you got what you got because it was for free. And that is it for this week's comics time. Later. Later.